All right, for North Greenville, we have uh, head coach Landon Powell and catcher Jake Girardi. Obviously, coach, a tough one today. Um, 12 walks, totally hit by pitches as well. Makes it as well, uh, 10 hits. Just a tough one for y'all today, huh? Yeah, just, I mean, that's is a bad game. It's, uh, these are college athletes. They're not perfect. They're not professionals. And some days they don't have their good day. And uh, Reese Fields has been a force for us as a pitcher his whole career. Um, and that was probably his worst outing he's ever had. I mean, he's never walked out that many guys. Um, yeah, it's just, and that's baseball. You give away 14 free bases, you're usually going to lose. So, uh, you know, that's why it's a three-game series. You know, we, we uh, you know, we did play well. They played well. They learned, they uh, earned that victory. Now it's on us to, our backs into the wall. We had to come out fighting and uh, win two. We were in the, you know, we're in the same position last year. We beat Pembroke first game, lost to Little Ryan, had to beat Little Ryan twice in a row, and we were able to do that. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can find that magic again this year. And I believe my guys will show up ready. I promise they're not going to roll over and quit. How big was it for you that uh, Caleb Frame was able to come in, he was able to throw strikes, and he was able to eat innings for you guys? Yeah, great great job by Caleb. Um, you know, I probably should have started on the way he pitched, right? But I do, I do what I know now. Um, one of the better outings of the year. And it was key for him to go in there and eat some innings. Um, I'd already kind of decided if we didn't score some runs and get back close in the game, I, I probably wasn't going to throw any other of our our main pitchers. I probably would have thrown like a position player that can also pitch or something like that, just to save arms because I know we got 18 innings tomorrow. What, what do you tell your players after a game like tonight? Um, I just told them. I, mean, I gave them a couple, a couple, you know, trying to encourage them. Told them about last year, winning the first one, losing the second, so we're in this exact same position last year when that team went on to win a national championship. So we're no stranger to having to fight with our back against the wall. Uh, we've been in plenty of elimination games. Talked about that. You know, talked about how we went to Mount Olive and we beat them the first game of the three-game series. And then they turned around and beat us twice. So, you know, we could easily do the same thing tomorrow um, at our field here. Um, and I talked about some of the veteran players who have been – and plenty of regionals and they've been in plenty of dog fights and you know they know that they're never out of it and uh, there's a lot of heart and grit in this team and I got a feeling they're going to show up tomorrow and give absolutely everything they have and at the end of the day whether we win or lose tomorrow I know that this is a team that will be able to hold their head high and feel like they absolutely gave it everything they have because that's the way they've played all year. Obviously you got some struggles going on with Mark Lucas like what, what's his mindset going into tomorrow obviously he's kind of reeling a little bit right now. Yeah, he's working hard. I mean, it's just baseball. Sometimes your time is off and you go through little things. Every hitter goes through that. John Michael Fail had a little slow part of the middle part of the season this year. You know, every hitter does. So Mark, unfortunately, is having a little bit of a slow time right now at the end of the year. But, you know, got that little infield hit his last at bat. You know, he's such a dangerous player, such a talented kid. He's he's one good swing away from changing everything and, and then just absolutely going off. So, um Hopefully that'll be the first bat tomorrow. Will be that good swing because we definitely desperately need him to get hot. And uh, but I think we're swinging the bat well. Out with him today, we had four home runs. You know, had several other really hard hit balls that were right at guys. Yeah, you know, I don't think that we struggled offensively at all in that game. You know, we, we did enough offensively to win the game. Um, we just really did have we just had a bad time on the mound. What what a good game for us. One more, Jake. What's the uh, feeling in the locker room among the guys? I mean, it's we just got to stay level-headed. I mean, going back to last year against Columbus State, you know, we thought we were going to advance. They hit a walk-off, and then you go upstairs, you're a little shocked. Um, but when your back's against the wall, you realize the guys that are around you, and you believe in them. And you know at the end of the day, like, these are the guys I want to go out with every single day. So, I mean, I would say right now spirits are still high. We've won two games on Saturday this whole year. So, I mean, nothing changes. Tomorrow we go out, we win two, and we advance. So. How do you still glorify God on the nights like tonight? I mean, you just be. I mean, especially this year, you just got to be thankful that we're able to come out here and uh, and play this awesome game. I mean, you're gonna lose. That's baseball. Like, that has nothing to do. Like, you know, that doesn't shake anyone's faith. And I mean, this year we're playing for something even more. Um, I mean, we're out there playing for Davis. I mean, we're praying. You know, before games, he's with us on that field. Like, this is, you know. This is when our faith has to be stronger than ever. So, um, I mean, we're really just, you know, we have belief in ourselves, but we put more faith and belief in God that there's a reason for everything. And 
we're just going to go out there and play it, and he's going to play through us tomorrow. So that's all we're focused on. The reason I brought Jake Girardi in here is not only because he's a great teammate, great player, um, he's, he checks every box, but um, also Jake uh, just graduated from North Greenville, and he was honored at graduation as having the highest GPA of any graduate. You know, he went through his entire college career and only got one B, all A's the whole rest of his career. He was the uh, he's won the academic award in the conference once or twice. Been academically all, all conference or academic all conference his whole career. What was the name of the award you won? The Elite 23. The Elite 23 award, which is a very prestigious academic award in the conference. So, Jake's a great player, great teammate, um, exceptional human being, but also an incredible student. So he's uh, he's one of our best and brightest. So that's why we're on up here. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.